What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about three texts to send to eliminate flakes. Now, if you're watching this video, it probably means that you have a girl or you've been messaging women that you like that you wanna get out on dates. Now, I don't know about you, but it feels like in this day and age that getting women to meet up in person is like pulling teeth. I mean, with so many uh, choices that we have, with social media and the selection that's on offer, it seems like it's like super hard to get people out in general uh, to meet up when they say they're gonna meet up. But if you use these three text messages, I guarantee you it's gonna reduce the amount of times that people flake on you, okay? Now, in, in my own life, I, I rarely get flaked on by people, and it's because I or orient my life in a way that I describe in this channel and in my various programs. Uh, but I also use these three text messages very, very frequently, uh, and because of that, basically, I don't really get flaked on that much. So, I would encourage you to use these text messages. If they're not responding to these messages, or they're still being hard after them, I would just move on to someone who is going to respond to them, because that means that that person really doesn't like you, and I don't know about you, but I'm only down to hang out with people that want to hang out with me. All right, cool. The first text to send is, what are you up to this week? This could be, what are you up to this week? Um, how's the week look for you? Uh, doing anything fun this week? You just want to get her schedule or what she's doing uh, that particular, those for the next few days, all right? So if you want to make plans with a girl on Saturday, it makes sense to figure out if she's doing anything on Saturday first. All right, so I usually ask that question and then you know she'll tell me if she's doing anything that week and I'll pick a day that she's free. This eliminates what a lot of guys end up getting into, which is, hey, uh, like they'll ask the girl, hey, do you wanna go out on Friday? Uh, and then she'll be like, oh, actually, um, I'm going out with the girls on Friday. And, and then they'll say something like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, do you wanna go out like uh, Saturday at lunch? Let's, let's get Saturday at lunch. And she goes, oh, I'm actually getting lunch with my mother on Saturday. And they're like, okay, well, why don't we hang out on Sunday? She's actually, oh, I'm, I'm getting brunch with my friends again. Okay, if he had just asked her what she was up to that weekend, then she would have told him all of those things and he could have made plans around that or maybe just picked it the next week. But instead, she said no to him three times and once a woman gets in the mode of saying no to you, then it kind of becomes a habit, all right? Now, if you ask this question and she's not willing to share with you what she's up to that week, it probably means you should have shared first what you're up to that week. Or if you've done that and she still doesn't want to tell you what she's up to, it probably means she's really, really shy or she just doesn't like you, okay? Uh, if someone's not willing to, uh, to share with you what they're up to that week, they're probably not down to meet up with you. Text message number two. Text message number two is gonna be a yes question. Wine or beer? Coffee or tea? Pizza or pasta? <laughs> this, is, this is basically a fun, kind of positive question that you can pose to her that allows her to like choose her own adventure. You know, if she's gonna pick something that she likes, it's more likely that she's gonna show up on that date with you or show up to hang out with you, okay? If you pick something that she doesn't like and you haven't asked her, um, then it's more likely that she's gonna flake on you. So I like to do the choose your own adventure. It frames it in a positive manner without having all those permission seeking behaviors that you know women are just not into. So you frame it that way. And look, there might be a chance that she doesn't like either of the options that you give her. She'll tell you then. So sometimes you might say, hey, wine or beer? She's like, actually, I'm more of a whiskey gal, <laughs> all right? Now you know. Or she might say, hey, I actually don't drink that much at, at all, I'm not, I'm not a drinker. And then you're like, okay, cool, trick question. Let's get tea, okay? So that could be something that you would do. Basically, you wanna get her interests, you wanna figure out what she's gonna enjoy doing. So you found a time that she's free, you found something that she likes doing, now it's time to do text message number three, which is pick a time and a location. This is super important because a lot of people skip out on this. You know, they'll just say, hey, let's hang out Saturday. And then, you know, Saturday gets closer and closer and the girl's wondering like, when are we gonna meet? Like, what are we gonna do? And the more unknowns you have before you're meeting up with somebody, the more nervous they're gonna get and the less likely it is that they're gonna show up. So pick a date and a, pick a time and a place. You know, that's the number one complaint that women have is that guys just, you know, they just won't make plans. They won't make definite specific plans. Like they'll show up, but the guy just won't do that. So do that. If you have made specific plans, you've done that, I would, if it's a long time in the distance, like maybe like uh, you made plans for Saturday and it's Monday, you probably wanna check in with them a couple times uh, before you do it. It doesn't have to be that much. You can just say, hey, we still on? Or um, 
you know, you just send her a text message to let her know that you're thinking about her, okay? If you don't send her anything between Monday and Saturday, like she's probably not going to show up. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Or she might send you a text on Friday saying like, hey, are we still on for Saturday? Is this still happening? <laughs> all right. So um, if you've done all of that and you're still not sure if this person is going to show up or not, this is what I want you to send. This is a bonus uh, message that I would send at the end. On the morning of, you want to send her something like, hey, I actually got to run some errands today. Going to be five minutes late, but looking forward to seeing you. Okay, you can put a smiley face or whatever. You just want to let her know that you're still looking forward to seeing her, but you're going to be five minutes late. Now, what this is going to do is if she can make it, she'll be like, no problem, perfect, I'll see you then. No one's going to cancel a date over a meeting over somebody being five minutes late. But if she's not going to show up or she doesn't want to show up, she'll tell you right then and there. And that way, God forbid, you, you know, you show up and she just, you know, stands you up. <laughs> Which if anybody does that, by the way, they are a horrible person. Like that's a super, super mean thing to do to somebody. All right. But this will eliminate that from, uh, from happening. All right. Cool, you guys. Those are the three messages. Now, if a girl is not playing ball, like I said, she's not really responding to these messages, I would go and text somebody who is going to respond to these messages because that person is much more likely to meet up with you. And guys, you got to have self-respect. Um, if someone is not giving you their time, then why should you give theirs? All right. So uh, find people who are willing to connect with you. And guys, if you want to learn how to do this or how to orient your life in a way where you can eliminate flakes completely, um, it's not just these text messages, there's other things that you do, uh, bringing people in, bringing value, all of those kinds of things. Um, there's a form down below, click on it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, 75% like of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I come up with content every single week. Hit the notifications bell to get notified when I come up with a new video. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there. <laughs>